Right, John, does that feel like a bit of a defeat today? It does. Um, Local derby, uh, we've, we've shown that we're a match for United. Uh, we've, if we had 11 players then uh, for 90 minutes, then what we could have got out of the game. I can't fault the players for effort and, uh, and organisation. That, that helped us get something out of it. And United getting a late goal. Uh, it was uh, The players were deflated, so that's a good sign that uh, they're disappointed to get a point. But it's the first point we've got against United this season, so... That's an improvement. And how pleased are you that they were the better team? Oh, team I'm, I couldn't be any prouder than about the players. Um, the way they've reacted with, with me coming in and the effort and uh, commitment that they're showing, I can't fault that. You know, and uh, We just need a wee break and uh, maybe try to end a few games with 11 men. Conroy took his goal well too. Fantastic. Ryan's got one of the best left foots in the division and a desire to get into the box because with that ability, if he can get in the box, he'll score goals. Uh, he's telling me he scored five this year. He keeps doing that, you know, I'd expect double figures from him. And what did you make of sending off? Gary's he's led with his elbow or his arm, um, but when you're going to jump to win headers, uh, you use your arms for leverage. I was a centre half, I had to do that myself. Nowadays it's dangerous play and if you catch the guy, the referees are going to uh, hammer you for it. So I don't know many uh, defenders that actually jump without raising their arms. Um, protection and balance. Um, but I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't blame the referee for that. Are you happy with Chef Simmons and Putin as well? He's fat. He's a fat goalkeeper, uh, a senior goalkeeper. You know, we've got a uh, big Rab who's injured. So, um, just get the facts right, is Rab's injured. He wasn't dropped, he was injured. I had to bring in a goalkeeper, and the goalkeeper done very well for us. No game next week? Yep. Is that a good thing? Um, we've got a fortnight before the uh, Motherwell game. Rab's got a fortnight to get himself fit. And then we've got competition where young lad Alex Bird is learning the game. Um, we're in a pressure uh, situation with the league and we don't want to expose a young boy too early. So we need the experience to get through that. And if we had Rab in today uh, without taking goal kicks, it just leaves us um, hindered. You know, at, uh, uh, so we had a fit goalkeeper with 10 fit players that managed to get us a point where we could have got three. So uh, there's not a great deal of debate other than that. It must feel like a defeat. Yeah, I mean, it, it, we played ever so well for, for the whole game, really. Um, but particularly for the last sort of 70 minutes of the game when we're down 10 men. Um, we're obviously, you know, very disappointed that we've come in and not won the game and not seen the game through. But I think the lads can be very proud of the efforts that they've, they've put out there today. Um, you know, each man was throwing his body on the line, getting tackles in, you know, getting blocks in. Um, you know, and we can count ourselves unlucky not to come away with three points, but, you know, you don't always get what you deserve in football. But, um, you know, I thought we, we battled really well today and I thought, you know, we deserve better. Is that the kind of um, performance you expected when you joined Dundee that, that we'd be putting in? Yeah, especially in the derby, you know, um, I think the lads, particularly in the last few weeks, uh, have been magnificent from what I've heard and what I've read and what I've seen on the TV. Um, and it was, a, it was a pleasure to be playing with them today. Um, you know, I think having tasted my first experience of, of the Dundee side, um, you know, I'm a little bit surprised that they're in the position they are because um, you know, we certainly didn't look like a, a bottom of the league team there today. Uh, I thought we matched them all across the park. Um, you know, we got ourselves in front with a, with a brilliantly worked goal um, and we were just unlucky not to hold out for the, the entire game. You know, on a personal level, you had a couple of great saves yourself. Well, it's always nice to make good saves, you know, but I think, you know, I, I would have had to have made or, or tried to have made a lot more if the lads in front hadn't made the blocks they did. Um, some of the defending was magnificent, but not just on the edge of box, but all across the pitch as well. Um, you know, in, in the end, um, Dundee United just just resorted to sort of long ball, diagonal balls to Daly in the end because they, they couldn't play through. We had two banks of four there. Um, we defended superbly, but you know, like I say, we, we just couldn't hold out for the, the full 90 plus stoppage.